students in our next part to national economy let's start we already done that there are three types of means of transportation the first one is from land second through waterways and the third one through air that is the airways in land in the first part and second part we already done roadways and pipelines let us do railways of the land part first of all let us classify roadways and railways in roadways their construction cost is very less while the construction cost of railway is high no problem of topography in roadways you can make in either in mountains or in plains or in plateaus why it is not easy to make railways in mountains or such type of a topography the main thing is that roadways provide door to door service why railways is not providing this door to door service the another thing is in roadways they are good for less distance and less quantity while railway is good for long distance and have a quantity these are the main difference between railways and roadways importance of railways it is a principal mode of transportation possible to conduct multi fares activities like business sightness pilgrimage along with transportation of good over long distances in the railway have been great integrating force for more than 150 years it was established in the year 1853 when first indian rail starts from mumbai to thane by in the economic life as well as accelerated the development of industries and agriculture in india if we see the datas then we have a network of 7031 stations with 63221 km long route length 7817 locomotives means engines 5321 passengers service vehicles 4094 other coach vehicles and 2 lakh 28170 wagons used for goods transportation as on 31st march 2004 this data shows the huge network of indian railway which is asia's second largest 
railway network not only it is the second second largest railway network but also number one number one organization of world means it's give employment to more than 15 lakh people and indirectly more than 25 lakh people getting job from indian railways this shows the hugeness of indian railways organization it is so huge that a separate railway budget is presented by the railway ministers before a general budget problems yes we are facing problems in railways also many passengers travel without tickets Passengers pull chain unnecessarily causing heavy loss of uh, to the railway. Thefts and damaging of railway property have not yet stopped completely. We can divide Indian Railways into three parts. The first one, narrow railway. In narrow, narrow railway, the difference between both the track is less than 1 meter, 0 0.77 and 0 0.78 meters. At present, there is only three narrow railways, main narrow railways and four main narrow railways are running in India. Which are also called the toy trains. You can see these in the map. The first one is the Than Court to Joginder Nagar in Himachal Pradesh. This is the route from Pathan Court to Joginder Nagar, which is in Mandi district of Himachal Pradesh. The next one is from Kalka to Shimla near Chandigarh, it's Kalka, Solon. To Shimla. The another one is from New Jalpai Guri to Darjeeling. Here from New Jalpai Guri to Darjeeling. And the fourth one, which is also called the Neel Giris Railway in South India near the very famous hill station Uchi. One, two and three types of railways found. Let us come to the second type also called the meter cage. My name it is clear the difference between both the track is one meter. This railway is basically found in remote areas and South India, like in the desert part of Rajasthan, the Deccan Plateau region, this whole region, the forest region, like here, somewhere here in, in the northeast region from Tinsukhya to Ludo. Ludo is the easternmost station of India. The third one is the broad gauge. The difference between two tracks in broad gauge is more than 1.5 meter now the maximum part of India is connected with it the Punjab region, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal here a very dense network is found Similarly, in the eastern part and somewhere in Tamil Nadu also, this broad gauge is found. The major railway network of India are from Uri, Srinagar, Jammu Kashmir to Delhi, Kota to Mumbai, then from Mumbai, Bangalore, Hyderabad to Chennai, 
from Chennai to Kolkata and same from Havra, Patna, Varanasi, Ilhabad, Kanpur, Agra, Mathura to Lucknow. The longest railway network of India is from Srinagar to Delhi to Gwalior, Nagpur, Bangalore to Kanyakumari, also called the Himsagar Express. The other main routes, as we already discussed, which join the four metropolitan cities of India. The another longest route, one of the long route, is from Delhi to Tinsukhiya here in Assam, Bhamputri. So this is how we complete our third part of the chapter. Thank you. And in the next part, we will do the waterways and airways.